Today, we're going to go over a cool feature that I recently started using that allows you to take a Word document and convert it to a PowerPoint document. Now, keep in mind, this is only available for Word online. I went to office.com, I selected Word, and now I have located the file that I want to convert. As I prepare to convert this Word document into a PowerPoint file, I have learned that I will get better results if the Word file has some bullet points, some headers, or even just some words that are bolded to give the AI behind this process something to look for. Now what I'm going to do is go to the upper right-hand corner, select File, then export, then export PowerPoint presentation. If you don't see this option, it's possible that your company does not allow you to export and the admin has turned it off. The export to presentation dialog box will appear and you will get to choose from some sample design themes. If you don't like the ones you see, select see more themes until you find one that you like. For this demonstration, the template really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pick from one of the basic themes that I've been given and then click export. As I mentioned before, there's a little AI going on in the background and Microsoft is looking at your content and putting it on the PowerPoint presentation template. When it's done, you'll see this little, yay, your presentation is ready, and then you can open it up. The PowerPoint file will automatically save to your OneDrive, and then you can go through and look at the different slides. As I scroll through the preview pane on the left-hand side of the PowerPoint deck, I can see that the AI did a pretty good job, but there's a couple things that ended up in here that I didn't actually want. So for example, the second slide is really instructor notes that I don't want my students to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete those really quick. As I scroll through really quickly and put the video on fast forward, you can see that PowerPoint has added all kinds of text boxes, icons, flow charts, colorful pictures, and this all would have taken me quite a bit of time to do myself. So this feature has helped me to be a bit more productive. If you'd like to learn more about PowerPoint and other Microsoft Core Business app, please see the playlist that's showing on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.